Now, you may remember Mojo the monkey who escaped from Belfast Zoo last June only to turn up in a nearby garden. Well, a children's book just published brings fact and fiction that little bit closer with a tale of a leopard making his playground in Belfast Castle. Our arts correspondent Maggie Taggart reports. A teacher from an East Belfast primary school takes her pupils on an educational tour of the cat garden at Belfast Castle. Let's, let's have a look at this cat. Let's go up and have a look here. But this is no casual trip. Lauren Graham is also the author of a book about the garden and how it's visited by Napoleon the Lonely Leopard, who's escaped from Belfast Zoo and has a few adventures. As he looked closer, Napoleon couldn't believe his eyes. There were cats everywhere. Good boy, well done. Big cats, small cats, fat cats, thin cats. Cats in the flower beds, cats in the pathways. I went to school in the area and I would come up here with my children at weekends and things. So it's just a nice, a nice garden for people to come and visit. And I just thought, well, that's a, there's a good story in it. I'm always looking for a story. <laughs> I'm Peter and I'm eight years old. And I really like the part in the book whenever um, he, es he escapes from the zoo and comes to Belfast Castle and he thinks all the model cats are real. Napoleon immediately saw his chance for freedom. He darted away. The cats hidden in this garden can expect more visitors to track them down when the book is read by curious small children. Maggie Taggart, BBC Newsline, North Belfast. Mm, that looks like fun now with a look.